First of all, Americans have a long history of being fraternities and being someone else's groups. You can call it fraternities, the clan, the odd fellows, the Knights of Malta, the many fraternities and fraternal orders they've had they have. Police people, they put on the uniform, the military, they feel like someone else. Politicians on TV, actors, they feel like someone else. They love the kind of Dionysian disassociation. We couple this with the technology that is established that they have. It is established that they have technology that can hack your brain, that they can read your thoughts in your brain. And the government doesn't isn't always completely honest, we'll say, about the technologies they have. So when I have 22 witnesses on record, it overkills that they are running a psychological operation on me with the latest technology in 2021. And they've been doing it for quite some time. They've been watching me for quite some time to learn how to change my behavior here and there. But I've gone out of my way to make sure my arguments were sound until they were, as you expect, more sound than ever. Some of them seek to take credit for this. That doesn't matter. Okay, when you're the top martial artist ever, there's nothing they can say. Can I, if I, if I, you know, can someone say they gave the cheetah its speed or the sun its heat? No more can they say they made me the top martial artist. I, because of God, beyond any doubt, made me the top martial artist. God made me the top martial artist. Not any of you. Okay. That being said, certainly we can all agree that even if I was having sex with a pink fucking elephant in a kindergarten, you know, cracked out, okay, it would not discredit me. Truth is truth. It would not take away from who I am. Mind control is mind control. No matter how you slice it, they couldn't possibly have anything on me. The son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon, the top martial artist ever from the most stigmatized race who has a track record of doing the right thing under mind control. I am blameless. My argument is infallible that only I am the way, the truth, and the life to heaven. Logically, you can't come up with a storybook in a world with a bunch of books and religions and say this religion with no logical proof given to you by the most corrupt people that ever lived who colonized the world, started the major wars in the world, did all these horrible things in the world, Native American genocide. You can't be the most corrupt and evil people logically and say our book is infallible. No. The truths of the top martial arts ever is infallible. Not your book. Not anyone's book or religion. Not anyone's culture. Not scientists who don't even agree with each other. Moral precision is infallible. At, that, at this time, it is obvious that there is no logical argument as to why people should keep breeding ever again. Because you've cheated the most righteous guy ever. You come from a long line of evil people. No logic will ever exist to justify you or your offspring's existence. You went as far as to persecute me. To torture me slightly and to various degrees remotely. Sometimes more harsh than others. Okay, sometimes, you know, I was on the ground in, you know, in pain. Sometimes zapping my brain. Okay, trying to take the fight out of me. Take the masculinity, the African, royal African, transcendent masculinity. That these people are so jealous of. You see the English governing class and these people trying to argue that they're the pharaohs of Egypt. You know, don't you see the Africanness in them? It's a fucking joke. Okay, it's a sick, sick joke. Because if you're related to them by flesh, look at you now. Are you a war god now, perhaps? Because you're a martial arts? No. Are you a deity? Are you a god of justice? You colonial traitors? No. Do you have true love and you're corrupt? Rich, arrogant hearts? No. It is sick for you people to pretend you're the offspring of Horus or the true pharaohs of Egypt. Despicable. You're like less than Crowley. He wasn't as guilty of crimes against humanity as you people are. He wasn't as given as much as you people are. To him who much is given, much is expected. I'm the true king of kings. There's nothing anyone can do to take it away from. Take away from that only in the minds of complete idiots. And how many of you think I should be concerned by people who have less sense than somebody who's mildly fucking retarded. It's stupid. I proclaim victory. I am mighty to save. 